the recording right. All right, don't want any trouble out of you. Hey everyone, my name's Matt, and we're gonna take a look at some goodies from T-Rex Racing. I needed some protection for that there little bike, my little smart villain. And there are precious few install guides and precious few informational things regarding this. Ooh, they gave me a face mask. We got a radiator guard based on how light this is. I suspect that this might be what's in here. Yep, so a radiator guard, that's gonna help protect the front of the radiator from the odd rock and stick uh, slicing through the radiator. Something I've been looking forward to. We got frame sliders, no cut frame sliders. So those two things are gonna go on either side just to kind of help protect the bike if God forbid I ever do go down on my side. And we've got an exhaust slider. So you good? I mean, basically all that does is it protects the exhaust because it sticks out farther than the frame sliders would actually protect it. So if I'm not mistaken, that's gonna end up going probably right there if I had to guess. Oh God, it's all words. All right, so if I'm looking at this correctly, this is all gonna be mounted on the left-hand side. This all right here is gonna be mounted on the right side of the bike. So first step, we're gonna remove some engine bolts circled at these two locations. So let's see what I'm gonna need. All right, so I'm gonna need my Torx bit. Looks like those are actually two different sizes. If I had to guess, I'm gonna guess a 45 got the bottom. Top one's probably 40. So let's see. Yep, top 40, bottom 45. Perfect. These are both for the same size, so let's grab that. And we're gonna go ahead and break these open, starting with the bottom. I get the sneaky suspicion that that back bolt is uh, goes in threads into a nut. And that's why it's not coming out quite yet. Let's see here. Yep, I feel it. It's back there. So, it feels like it's actually finger loose, so I could probably just hang on to that while I twist the other one off. So that's what I'll do. Stick that there. And the other one is finger loose already, so I'll just uh, plug it with my index finger. There it is. So I'm gonna put that someplace I'm not gonna lose it. And we gotta extract these two. There we go. There's that bolt. Okay. So I'm gonna set that bolt right there. Leave that bolt out so I remember where it goes. So, it says remove those bolts, good. So on the right side, inside the right side using 28 millimeter spacer. Okay. And the M860 flathead countersink bolt. All right, so it turns out I'm just not smart. I was trying to put this on the left side, thinking, oh, you start on the right side, and you, and you, and you, and you, and you. All right, there we go. That's much better. Yeah, this looks, this looks correct. This looks appropriate. So we're just gonna not even use that first, because I don't want to cross-thread this. 
Okay. Make sure it's going in. Make sure it's going in right. But you know what? Even better. Let's try threading that in without anything else attached to it first. Okay. Let's go ahead and put this in first. Line it up. We're not going to tighten that nearly all the way because I know this bolt has to come out. The other one has to go in. So this bolt comes out. Good. Let's go grab the other. Okay, start with the right side, blah, blah, blah. 34 spacer, and this gigantic bolt. So here we go. All right, so in through here, spacer as well. Come on, there you go. Let me just gotta feed this bolt in. I did, however, see this thing sink just by a little bit. So I'm gonna need to do some fancy persuading here. Oh, I don't like forcing it. I don't like manhandling it, but frankly, I had to manhandle it out. I'll have to manhandle it in. There we go. Out through the other side, yeah? Yeah, there we go. Good. So that side is mostly in. I'm not gonna tighten this up all the way. Cause I still need that bottom bolt to move a bit, but I feel okay about tightening this up a bit more. That's good enough. I don't want to tighten that any more than that. Just for reference, it's probably a six mil. You good, man? All right, on to the left side. So let's see, move to the left side. Insert 24 millimeter bit. Okay, hang on. Insert 24 spacer. Uh -huh. Attach left side. Where does it mention that I'm going to have to remove a bolt for the right hand side? Because I know that I will. We is missing one. Doesn't say it, but that bolt right there, that has to come out. So we're going to go ahead and take care of that bolt. It's a 40. Yay. Put that, put that someplace safe right there. We're going to go ahead and loosen this guy up. I think that is all the way out. It is. Pull that out. My little fingernails. Eh. Come on. Get. I'm gonna flick you until you get out. Ha! -ha. Got it. Now let's see here. We got that out. We got this bolt out. Which means I am officially done with my torques. Good. So I'm done with my torques for now. Now, I am going to need this because I will be including this bolt, which will go in through the top, and the spacer, which goes on the bottom. I don't need this anymore. So we're gonna go ahead and put this on. Starting from the bottom, take my 24 spacer and put that there for now. Take my 28 spacer. I'm gonna put that on here. Just gonna use this by itself for now to get that started. Make sure I'm not cross threading. Good. And then I'll go ahead and tighten this up. Not all the way, but enough that I know it's not going anywhere. Got to line this bolt up. Ooh. Hey. Uh, frame sliders. Husqvarna. Yeah, they like, do Yep. <laughs> what the heck? I, I thought the same thing. I rode by the dealership one day and I said like, wait, like the chainsaw? I'm pretty sure that's what my chainsaw brand is. <laughs> and like walked in, I looked at the bike and like way back when I was like, when I got the Rebel even, like the whole thing that I wanted my bike for was I wanted it to like be good on the road, but I also wanted it to be able to do a little bit of like off-road stuff. Okay. Oh, that's what this one can do. Yeah. And this one like has like the gnarlier tires. It has ABS and like it has like good long travel suspension for off-road. So I saw it. I'm like, mine. 
Yeah, I'm like recording, like putting on these frame sliders because the only videos out there, like because this is like a, such a small model bike, yeah. nobody knows about it. Like most people are like Husqvarna, like the lawnmower. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. I'm like, I'm gonna make a video. And so that way people know how much do these things actually protect. So once I put this on, I'm gonna go inside, grab some towels and like slowly and gingerly lay it down to see like how far does this protect? Because I can already see it's going to protect the radiator, which is like a big thing. Yeah. So are you over a bit more? No, th for this, I'm like, uh, I'm like more or less, okay. yeah, it's more upright. So it's kind of nice. And like, if I'm going lean over a little bit, if I'm going off road, I can stand up pretty comfortably to like deal with like bu big bumps and things in the road sometimes i'll stand up on my bike just to get off my butt yeah i'll i'll do that too i don't do that on the interstate or in heavy traffic yeah i also got these because i'm like i love t-rex's stuff because it comes out so far that one it's great it protects the bike but two makeshift highway bags take care all right let's see oh i already have that on all right so we gotta line this up Kind of lining up blindly. Okay, I feel like that's going in. What I'm kidding about that thing about T-Rex's stuff. Like I use their engine guards, oh, for the longest time. And I would just use those things as highway pegs because they just came out so dang far on the bike. Oh, that's too big. All right, I love the look of those mirrors, but frankly, they vibrate too much. And if I'm gonna be dropping my bike at all, I wanna drop my bike with the, uh, with the bar ends protecting it. Okay, right, that ain't going anywhere. And now finish up this side. Okay, that's again. That's in, that's in. Everything feels sturdy and secure. That looks pretty good. That looks pretty good. All right, so that's it for the frame sliders. I mean, not much to it. Yeah, this feels good. I don't feel like I gotta tighten the puck at all. So let's go ahead and gather the old bolts. So we got one, two, three bolts and one nut. We're gonna go ahead and slide the nut on there. That way it don't get lost. And we're gonna set these aside right there. Right, frame slide. Frame slider done. On to the exhaust slider. <laughs> 